In English, it is called, Give me my son back. <coughs> Hunger is not my mother tongue. Murder is not my mother tongue. Quran is not my mother tongue. Upanishad is not my mother tongue either. I wanted to survive between fog and blasphemy. I wanted to survive between pain and suicide. I wanted to survive between treachery and sacrifice. I wanted to survive between Hare Ram and nuclear hopes. He who has been abducted, his hands are chained to a tree, his one leg tethered to a huge pains of God, in front of his mouth one hanging dish of rice. His stomach is the hungry basin of the Mediterranean, but he cannot eat. He feels he will vomit his first rise. Not the kidnapped son, but three other fathers, same age, are made to appear before the mother. Fair, dark, and very dark. All the three faces are covered in black. The mother said, take away the covers. But one human voice spoke from the sky. Let the state lay down their arms and then we can uncover them. The mother said, why my son's face is kept secret? What has it done? But the voice from the sky said, if the state doesn't stop war, we cannot show you their faces. Is this son yours? No. Is this body yours? No. Is it yours? No. Then which one is yours? If none of the three boys is your son, then you had no son at all. The mother, the mother didn't become you. Here is your son's hand, take it. Here is his shirt. The state cannot return more than this of his son. Tens of thousands of mothers are sitting all over in Cuba's jungles, in the caves of Tibet, in China's monasteries, in Russia's metro coaches, in America's restaurants. They're all over from Galingo down to Vidalfa. Mom, tell me please, how does it look? Fair, dark, very dark or tall and handsome. Before it is light, before the cocks call, mom is saying, give me my son back. At noon, mom is waiting with a dish of rice. Between rice and a glass of water, mom cries out, give me my son back. But neither before the sun down, nor after, no sun has ever, ever retired. Thank you.